Oh. Yes. Seems like it's better now. Yes, 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 yes. Much better. All right, let me... Give me a sec here. Okay. All right. Um, cool. My mic wasn't working properly for some reason. But anyway. Um, yes. Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. Mademoiselle as well. Um, good evening, everyone. And uh, good afternoon. Or good morning, if it's not the evening in your area. Um, yes. Well, welcome once again uh, to... Sébastien Rivière's shenanigans. Um, yes, tonight will be the third, third? Yes, third session of uh, Half Past Fate. And uh, I've been searching around about uh, the chapters and my advancement on the game. And it's, it might be the last session I'm going to play of this game. Uh, not entirely sure about it but there is like well yeah i've covered uh three quarter of the game for now so i guess yes uh if i'm not too slow at playing uh those last parts uh i will probably uh be able to finish a game like this and uh, actually wait uh-huh. Yes, now that's better. Okay. Um so yes, I'll um, Yep. Um I'm I can have lost my train of thoughts. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yes, uh, let's get started, uh, I guess. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let me switch to the BGM of the game like this and like this. And uh, probably you will want to switch the game as well. Let's switch to the game. Yes, that's much better. So yeah, uh, actually, I'm uh, checking the chapter select screen. Uh, there is like, uh, it's well, you can feel like there is only twelve. I mentioned it on the last stream, and uh, actually there is only twelve chapters. So now we're at chapter ten. So only three left. And seeing how much I progress in this game, I expect it to be done by today. But maybe it will be like some last part or if the last parts are like uh, a bit longer than expected and well it's gonna maybe take a bit of more time anyway um oh yes before we get started as you can see on the mm, bottom of my character uh my mom me you actually made me some uh asset extra assets yay and it's actually a bb bunny which is a reference to this game uh is there visible in the chapter select no it's some kind of collectible plushie and uh yes so far i've collected uh quite a bit of them i think i took i almost got all of them yes i put it on purpose here because it feels like yeah it's well, maybe I'm holding it. Maybe it's just in front of me. Something. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, uh, let me do it. Uh, yeah, of course, if I go outside of the game, it's like, yeah, no sounds anymore. Wait, uh, how do I do it? Let's remove it from here. And uh, let's do this. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's a bit too big for me. Uh, da, 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 do, 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 something like that. No. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Now that's perfect. Okay. Now it's stuck on me. Yay. So yes. Uh, actually, it's right in the middle of my uh, lavalier. But oh well. Uh, th that's fine. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah, it's stuck. That's, that's, that's a bit on purpose. 
Um, what was I saying? Uh, yes, and basically, mom allowed me to keep it on uh, uh, in my bar, like my in upcoming bar, uh, if I manage to clear the game while collecting all of them, and I've done a pretty good job at this, I think so far. Uh, I think there is. Wait, uh, is there actually an achievement for that? So that I can. Uh, I'm gonna put back my normal BGM while I'm checking up, checking that up. Um, da -da 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 half past fate. BB Bunny achievement. Is there one? Oh, that might be more than a last one. I would say there, there should be three of them if it goes uh, as expected. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, there is actually an achievement if I get all of them and there is one in each chapter. So I think so far I managed to get all of them, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, we'll see at the end uh, how it uh, comes. Uh, yes, remove my own BGM and uh, da -da 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 what did I have to say? Was that the only thing? Um, I think. I'm not 100% sure about what I should say today. Um... Oh yeah, apparently... Yeah, the first. Yeah, the last one in the restaurant was actually kind of locked. Uh, locked out, yeah. Um, now I kind of realize I've put down... Uh, uh, how do I say it? This, uh, this thing like here. Like on my left, the, the, the road to affiliate uh, bar, gold bar. But uh, it's supposedly my followers count, but uh, for some reason it's not updated. Like I have 26 and it says 23, and I have no friggin' idea why it's not updated. But yeah, just keep it well, just so you know, yes, I, I've reached, well, I've topped 50% now, and uh, yeah, no, no, no idea if I. Well, I'll try, obviously, to, to reach the, the, the goal, but no idea why it's not getting updated. Uh, Streamlabs not working properly, I guess. Maybe. Well, uh, I'll probably check that up afterwards. And, uh, ta -da -ta -da -ta -da. Um, well, I guess that's it. Let, let, let's just start the game now. We've, got, we've still got quite a bit to do, I guess, in this game. Let's go. Two hours ago. Also, now we are quite far in the future. Oh, or, well, it's not in the future technically, but it's close in the past. Oh, wait. I forgot to. Oh, well, I'm gonna fix that afterwards. Oh, some kind of phone ringing. Oh, wait, actually. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna. Just put that over here because I have no control over the volume otherwise. And uh, let me do that so that I can see if there is some kind of frame dropping. I think there is a bit of, of it. Uh, no, doesn't look like so. Cool. Okay, let's go then. We are with Milo. Milo this time. Uh, Milo, just to, a bit of a reca recap. Uh, Milo was originally... Um, eight years ago? No. Three years? A few years ago, let's say that, because I can't remember how long. But a few years ago, he was uh, dating some girl, well, being engaged with some girl, and uh, he broke up uh, a few years later, right before the wedding. Well, the wedding has been postponed and postponed and postponed again, and then he cancelled it and just broke up with his girlfriend and Baya, uh, who is calling her right now, was um, very much hinted as being interested in Milo, to be honest, but uh, couldn't get uh, really forward because Milo had a, well, had a fiancé at that time and, um, da -da -da -da, well, she got a boyfriend in the meantime another guy, random guy, and uh, Milo is basically like, yeah, he, he just broke up with his fiancée, but yeah, uh, 
no, no, nothing came out of it with Baya, obviously, because she's already with some guy. But in the... was it the last chapter? The, yes, the last chapter was in the restaurant. And there is another guy from another side story of that, who was going for a blind date, and apparently was going on a blind date with Baya, and uh, one thing led to another, and he man managed to convince Baya that, well, she probably wouldn't want to be on a blind date with him and just, yeah, ju just friggin' call Milo and go and date him or something like that. Because, yeah, no, he he he's not the proper guy for her or something like that. So I guess that's right after that when she's calling him, I think, or the next day or something of that nature any anyway so let's go with that eh Milo hey Baya what's up uh, I had a, got, had a car accident this morning are you okay hmm how can you be okay with having a car accident let's hope it's gonna be a light thing oh it's nothing it was just a flat tire that's not an, ex an accident that's just some troubles but anyway again stranger help me <coughs> And I was on the road in no time. I think the Ken Stranger is another guy from the the story, actually. So we probably will see something about that in the next chapter. On the yeah, it was hinted at some point, I think. Anyway, I'm glad it's not serious. When Laws told me, I was super worried. Mm, yeah, figures. Yeah, it's all good. Laws was just being dramatic. Okay. You excited for film Gang Hang tonight? Taylor is cooking up food right now and it's smelling ve really good. Sorry, Mill, I can't make it this time. Oh, tonight is my blind date, remember? Oh, 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 so it's before the restaurant part, so it's, be it's before the blind date. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah, that's right, I remember. Is everything alright? You sound a little down. Well, it's pretty disappointing so far. I've been waiting here at the restaurant for half an hour already. He told me he's running late, so I'm just sitting here by myself. The waiters are giving me weird look. I'm so sorry, Baya. That really sucked. Yeah, well. It feels a lot like she's being stood up here. It's just, it's been a while since Matt, you know. Matt? Okay, Matt is basically the... The ex of Baya. Just for some context. And I figure it's time that I stop dating again. And honestly, I'd rather watch a film with you and the gang instead. Don't worry about it, Baya. There will always be more film gang hangs. If you feel it's time to get out there again, you should enjoy your date. I'm sure it will turn out okay. That is a bit weird, but hey. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Milo. I can always count on you to make things better. So what are you up to? Well, I've actually been thinking maybe it's about time I finally unpack all my boxes from moving. Yeah, maybe you're not depressed anymore. Milo, you're still unpacking? Hasn't it been like two years? Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. Now I remember. Yes, it was actually two years ago that he broke up with uh, his uh, fiancée. Oh yeah, quite a bit of time. It's only been a year and... Uh, yeah, I guess it's been two years, hasn't it? Well, I've unpacked all the important stuff that I actually use. <clears throat> I'm just going to take some time to go over the stuff in the attic. So I can take them to the thrift store, you know? Collect moments and things, right? Exactly. Okay. Hey, you know... Uh, Maybe if your date ends early, we can go grab a drink at the Regal Seagull or something? That way you can tell me about how it went? Ha, that sounds great. I'd really like that. I'll head over on over after it ends on earlier since he, he isn't showing up. Well, yeah. yeah she, feels like, she really feels like being stood up, but nah. I'll let you know when I... Oh yeah, that's when he comes in, I guess. Uh... Is that there is some guy? I think I see my date. He has some weird costume. Yes. Actually, for those who didn't see that, the date she has was actually in disguise because he didn't want to be recognized by another 
girl in the restaurant, so he was he was wearing sunglasses inside of the restaurant, plus uh, a fedora, plus uh, a bird, like a fake bird, which is yeah, yeah. Well, you can you can, you can guess how good it looks. Anyway, anyway, I should probably go. All right, see ya. Wooden water, bye ya. I'm so sorry, I should stop doing that. Bye. Bye is on a date. Good for her. I should be happy for her. It's been a while since Matt, now that I think of it. I just... I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, I should take this time to unpack those last few boxes in the attic. I think there are only two left. I actually... Did I forget to tweet about the stream? Give me a second. Yes, I actually forgot. G give me a moment to just tweet that. I feel like being very dumb here, but it's not gonna be the first time. So, ah, uh, let's go. Totally not late at putting up that tweet. Tilled. Yes, I'm stupid, I know. You can insult me if you want. No, actually, that's not fine. All right, that's fixed. Let's switch back. Ah, where was I? Okay. Uh, yes, let's switch keyboard. Cool. So, um, what is there in there? Oh, this photo. Okay, that's the two years photo, commemorative photo. Whoa, look at us. That was a great party. Uh, okay. That's it. Oh wait 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 no 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 no. Ah damn! I thought I would be able to read it again if I just skipped the dialogue. God oh, damn it! That was dumb on me. Wait, can I see it again? Ah! ah. I'm dumb. Okay. That's right. My laptop. I should probably back this up more often. Yes, backup is very important. If you have important data, back them up. That's right. Don't be dumb. And don't see that afterwards when it's going to be too late. This is the last room. It's where he stores his used collection of tabletop wargame figures. Okay. Lars got his picture of a horse from the thrift store. It's a great picture of a horse. Okay. This is Jody's room. It's very tidy and well decorated. Okay, so the attic is around here, but I don't want to go to the attic yet. Sailor's room, it smells weird. Have they fixed the door? Well, it's been getting worse and worse ever since Charlotte and Jody's got stuck out of there. The jumps just shut once in a while and nothing can get it open. I think we've all been stuck out there at some point by now. That's... I wouldn't say that's terrible, but... That's bad. Um, let's see... No. One of my main objectives is obviously to find the BB Bunny, but... Well... Guess that was easier than expected. So here's the tense one. What's this doing here? Are you hitchhiking somewhere? Okay. I don't know the opening. The garage is packed, and we mostly have Lars to thanks for it. Well, is he a, a hoarder or something? On the plus side, if we ever need anything uncommon, Lars seems ha to have it. Right. I get the feeling. I probably look forward to mail more than most people. A lot of times there is a handwritten note from Baya in there. Not this time though. Yeah. Alright. 
Is there anything to... Oh! It's usually my job to take out trash. Trash isn't even that full. Plus I'm busy. I can do it later. Oh, do it now. Don't do it later. Don't be lazy and procrastinate. Jody always insists we have a table clothes. Well, table clothes is fine. It just depends on the design. Last put a taco in this torso once. It didn't work like you think it would. What? A taco in toaster? Uh, I'm confused now. Yeah. Hey, Taylor always worries a lot about foods and diets. Despite me spending all my time researching foods these years, Taylor is actually the one who knows how to cook a good meal. Well, okay. If it wasn't for her, we'd all be having instant noodles every day. Well, that's the life of being an artist, right? Is that white paint on her nose? Hey, bud. You doing okay after the car thing this morning? Uh, yeah, I'm alright. It's no big deal. I was actually planning to take this time to unpack all those last couple box of mine in the attic. Whoa, bad time. It took you, what, two years? Just a couple box left. I figure I'll finally get it done. I finally got around to putting all my Windsor stuff up in the attic recently. You can just shove it all aside if you need to get around up there. Alright. Let's ask about food. What are you making? I'm falling, taking a stab at making stew by dooby doo. It's my dad's secret stew recipe. Secret stew recipe? So it's got a secret ingredient then. Duh. But don't bother asking what it is. I'll never tell. Wasn't going to. Okay, I can't handle it anymore. It's carrots. Aaron, carrots are pretty common ingredient in stews. Is that really a secret? When I was a kid, I refused to eat carrots, so my dad wouldn't tell me if they were in the stew. He would just say it was a secret ingredient. Well, that's kind of clever. I don't know. I need to him. It worked. I always ate all of my bowl. Whenever he had stew be do be do. That's that's a weird name. Carrots and all. I was really young, so I didn't know the difference, especially when the carrots got mushy and you know, all that good stew flavor. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. That's a good way to put some carrots inside, but yeah. Someday I'm gonna have kids that hate like broccoli or something. And I'm gonna make my own stew be doo be doo. Bet you that will be proud. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm Drinking a bit of water. Oof. There's a lot of cleaning stuff down there. Some trash bags, sponges, window cleaner, that sort of things. Okay. I try and eat anything from the kitchen. Alright. The note here, please stop making pudding. The fridge is so full of pudding. Okay, I'm no architect, but I get the feeling this corner could have been designed better. It is cozy though. Yeah, that's a joke about the fact that we can't see anything here, I guess. I think that's Lars in the bathroom. Oh no. Hey Jody. He's waiting for the washer. It's a good thing I don't have to do laundry today. Why? Is, is, is it gonna take like forever? Hey Jody, doing some laundry? Yep, every week, whether my clothes is needed or not. Hehe. <laughs> How responsible of you. What are you up to? I'm going to go through the last, last few boxes of mine in the attic. Oh, awesome. I just did that with my boxes a few weeks back. Very clean thing. Okay, don't have time for chit chat, I guess. I'll go deal with my boxes. Yes, you do that. Anything to get? There's like one single sock on the ground. I'm like, not impressed, Jody. Like, you put all your things inside of the washing machine, but not that single sock here. And even there is a, forgot the name, uh, clothes hanger. 
like lying around? Could you just like pick it up, put it here? Is it too difficult? Or put that sock easier inside of your machine or in the box again? No? That's too much asking? Nah. Anyway, let's... What? Oh, the replace it is painting from one of Josie's artsy friends. Oh, nice. Is there anything outside? What is there is this? Yeah, a ladder. Want to carry on a ladder without a reason? It's heavy. That's the ladder we use in the chapter when some, both Jody and Charlotte got stuck on the rooftop. Not a good day for grilling. No kidding. That's a flat tire. Had to move this somewhere. No sense in keeping it in the car and our garage is packed already. Wait. Did you leave? How do I say it in English? Damn it. I, I know the name in French, but... Ah, give me a second. Yeah, a hubcap. Did she seriously leave the hubcap? Did he seriously leave the hubcap on the wheel before putting it down? Like really? Okay. Fine, I guess. Or maybe the designer don't know how it looks without it. The collection of my roommate's books, movies, and games. I keep most of myself in my room. That's responsible this looks like it needs some sun yes I could put it outside sometime well maybe not right now but yeah looks like Lars is watching Kevin in the, in the clouds I love that movie uh, can you move oh, oh so sorry how about chatting while being in front of you mate and Milo you're feeling okay from the car accident this morning just a flat tire liars you make it sound like it's way more serious than it actually was. Flat tires are no joke. Plus, I'm really still salty that you didn't think of calling me. You were literally right in front of my office. I could have just came out and helped. So yeah, I think it's gonna be in maybe the next or last chapter, which is the one uh, that's gonna... Those are the events that are right before the restaurant date. And I think it was mentioned that uh, Jaron helped someone fix a tire or something like that. But anyway, then I had to learn about it through Taylor of all people. Yeah, yeah, I didn't make the connection at the time. Everything happened so fast. I'm salty, Milo. Very salty. Your best friend right here, ready to help. Okay, okay, next time I pop my tire in front of your office, you'll be the first person I call. You better. Anyway, what are you watching, Kevin the Clowns, right now? I saw the film Hong Kong wasn't until 8.30 p.m. But I figure since people aren't getting here for a while, I'll check to make sure that the film actually works. And here I am, 30 minutes into the film, I can't pull my eyes away, you know, it's so good. Well, this looks like just a bunch of clouds on the screen, but anyway. Anyway, how about you? What are you up to? Well, we do have a couple of hours to kill. I figure it's time to finally unpack those last couple boxes in the attic. See if I can take the stuff from the, to the thrift store or something. I mean, the boxes I so generously packed for you. There's tons of important stuff in there. Well, memorabilia. Memorabilia? Not much. Memorabilia? Bilia? Wow. You can't get rid of that stuff. That's why I packed it. Ah. Really grateful for your help with the move laws. But it's just the college box and Stasi box left. Oh. Okay. I'm sure there is a ton of stuff in there that I don't need. Especially knowing you are the one who packed them. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I knew this day would come eventually. Sorry, man. I'll try not to throw out anything too cool. Alright, let's get going. I'm going to get 
Yeah, let's get to six boxes. But yeah, yeah, the film is actually just a bunch of clouds on on the loop. Uh, I know it's like yeah, it's they probably didn't want to bother too much about making it very pretty or a full film or something like that. But yeah, oh, it's a bit random, I guess. Just clean. That's better when it's clean. I guess I'm presentable. Okay. Well, I guess we're done exploring now. Let's go to the attic. You go. Stassi. Eh. Go up to the attic. It's just above there. The stuff I need to unpack is all up there. The building folding ladder has always been broken, so I'll need to find another ladder. Wow. How about the one in the garden? Like... This one, the one that I wanted to pick up. Cool, I can get to the attic with this. Okay. Big ass ladders that's like twice your height. But you are still carrying it like, yeah, in your pocket. Always a pleasure. Anyway, that should do it. Let's go. Oh, there is a lot of stuff up there. More than I expected. I wonder why my boxes are... Oh, there is a Stasi one here, so I'm pretty much sure this is one of the two we are looking for. Let's check those one. Let's see, where's my box of college stuff? I'll spark my college box for me. You might remember what it looks like. Taylor moved some things up here recently. Maybe she knows which box are hers, which ones aren't. Jody organized the attic recently. Maybe she's seen it. So which box is mine? See if my roommate can give me some information. Okay. So that's a Stasi box, okay. I should actually get rid of this stuff. It's been two years. Yeah, I agree. Try to move on. That's that's good for you, mate. <sighs> I'll just take the box to the thrift store. Maybe someone else can build better memories with them. You know what they may say. One man's trash. Well, I should, I should go straight first and get rid of anything a thrift store wouldn't want. Sometimes a one man's trash is also another man's trash. I should use a garbage bag from the kitchen to hold all the junk. Okay, let's go back down then. Can do it later, but isn't there some bag somewhere? Okay, I'm gonna need a bag to hold the stuff. Yes! Bag. Hmm. Should I ask again? From the college box. Do so you know which box are yours? Oh, sure. My box are all the ones from Hugo with the green logo on them. Okay, Baya isn't coming. Baya has a. She has a date tonight. Out on a date. Yes! She started dating again. And you're okay with that? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Well, maybe Taylor knows a bit about it. I'm really happy for her. I'm glad she's getting over Matt. Me know you. I just. I can't. But I've known you for years and one of these days we'll finally see what we are all seeing. I'm fine Taylor, thanks for the help on the boxes. Let me know if there is anything else I can that could help. Have you tried asking Jody? She organized a whole attic not too long ago. She might remember seeing your box. I might be able to help. Can he help you pack? Okay, yes. Let's let's ask Jody. So wait. Now I'm not gonna write it down, but Hugo boxes with green logo. Okay, those ones are not the one I want. Hey Milo, yeah, I ask. You are in the attic. Did you see my college box? I did. I figured you had already gone through it and left it up there for safekeeping. I'm going through it. Yeah. I might keep a lot of what is in there, but I know there is a bunch of stuff that I'll want to get rid of. Makes sense. Well, I've put your college box near the old bed frame. I don't remember exactly where. I had to know you still need to go through it. I wouldn't have shoved it so far back. Okay. It's no problem. Thanks for your help. Okay. I guess... Yeah, maybe you just, we should just ask Lars, just for completion's sake. I can find my relic college box in the attic. You are the one who put it up there, right? Uh, did I not label it? I don't think so. Do you remember anything about the box that might help me figure out which one it is? Um, 
Been a while, I think it was one of the white boxes. That's about it, sorry. Thanks, Lars. Okay, so we are looking for white boxes with no Yugo logo green on it. And plus, it's near the bed. So it's not those ones we ha which has a green logo on it. Is it this one? I did mention a white one? This one? Let's see, where's my box? Yeah, last time it's a white box. Yes, the, the one like here. Yeah, lots of boxes are from Yugo. Okay, that's what I said. The one with the green logo. No, it's not. near the bed frame. We are. Wait, it was on the ground. Okay. Let's see, here's a birthday card from my parents. Textbook from an economics class. Some comic book posters that I'm too embarrassed to hang up. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Stripped us down the memory lane. Um, for those who didn't watch that part, it was actually the first part between Milo and Baya. It's actually when th where they met, which is a park in which Baya was doing some kind of uh, project and uh, a photography project. And she basically took this picture trying to reproduce the picture her father took when he arrived in the US with her, I think it's with his mom, well with her mom, with Bias' mom, and uh, yeah, I think there were both of them, and he took that picture in front of that statue because it's a writer he's fa a fan of, and basically Bayer wanted to reproduce that and asked Milo, who was just hanging around taking pictures, I think, I wasn't getting film or something but anyway and uh, she just asked him to pause here well along with some other shenanigans but yeah that, that's the details that was the day Bai and I met okay thanks for the recap I just did one after I agreed to have this picture taken Bai helped me out with my film that's how we became friends all right Worked on that film together all through college. I was going to submit it to the film festival contest, but then we graduated and Stacy and I moved away. Film didn't really go anywhere after that. I didn't have the motivation to do it by myself. And Stacy, well... I should show this to Baya. She would get a kick out of it. Yeah, right. Well, let's get the trash... No. Yes. Let's see, what can I throw away? A torn book, old recipe, recipes, a box of chocolates that went bad years ago. Gross. Whoa, a lot of this even worth taking to the thrift store. I'll just put it in the trash bag. That's all the trash. I should take a look yeah, through the rest of the stuff to make sure there isn't anything that I want to keep. Maybe you'll find a man to put in the trash. Because all men are trash or something. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what's in here. Okay. Yep, this is all thrift store material. Well, a teddy bear that I got from Postasi that she never liked. A belt she got me. I don't even wear belts. Well, sounds like Stasi was a real nice girl here. Like not even knowing what you want and giving you presents you don't want, you're not wearing, you're not using. That's how cool of her. Oh, whoa, the Adorai ticket stubs from this film's festival. Okay, that's... Okay, one other piece of memory. Um, this film festival, actually, Baya managed to get some tickets for him and her while actually she wanted to go in with Milo. Like, kind of like a date, but friend's date or something and she basically sacrificed her ticket to give it to Milo's girlfriend well fiance so yeah it's amazing we managed to watch it they were sold out for weeks before the show well guess what mate Baya was the one who found them for us well exactly what I said I still remember Baya standing by the side of the street on that day when we arrived and how bad I was at introducing people Baya obviously had no idea Stacy was coming she played it real cool though. Baya is always so great at talking to people, being sociable. Anyway, I can't get rid of this. Yeah. Baya must have had a real hard time getting a hold of them. It's a good memory. 
Yes, give it. I think the rest of this is junk. Glad I went through it. I would have accidentally got rid rid of those tickets. Ha! <sighs> I think that's it. Stacy chapter is finally over. Two years later, and I can finally say I'm over her. Right. What next? Taking the opportunity to drink. What as well that is. Oh, okay. Oh, that's probably the moment she's calling because she can't sell her date. Ding dong. Wow, you're already here? That was fast. Why didn't you just ring the bell doorbell? I don't know. This seemed more fun. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right down. I have some things I want to show you. Maya will love the stuff I found. Such good memories. Well, you're a bit dense, mate. Maya is as well. Wait, uh, maybe I should just put the trash in the trash bin first. Goodbye, Stacy. Well, I still need to take the box to the thrift store, but it's a good first step. Oh, achievement unlocked. Goodbye, Stacy. Yeah, well, I was expecting that, to be honest. Hey, Baya. Hey, Milo. Hey, you're here really early. Are you okay? Yeah, everything is fine. Are you coming? Um, actually, maybe we could just talk here for a bit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Milo. Milo, just... Okay. Milo, I... There is something I want to show you. Oh, yeah, what is it? So, I was going through my old boxes today and... Yeah, I'll show her everything. Oh my gosh, you still have this? It's almost been a decade. So it was eight years ago. Okay, I, I was right about this one. Today I met one of my best friends. Of course I still have it. Probably seemed a bit pushy by then, didn't I? To get you to pose like that. And maybe a little, but I'm glad you did it. Because after that you helped me with my project. Stassi never helped me, but you ended up pushing me forward. More importantly, though, I even after the projects, you were always there for me. Oh, that's nice, Obaya. We worked together in class, hung out outside of class, and you ended up becoming my best friend for li in life. And this picture, well, I'll keep it forever because it's a memory of you. Are they like both blushing? Like, okay. Whoa, Milo, I don't know what to say. Next one. Remember this? There are the tickets you gave me at the Sunset Film Festival. Whoa, yeah, I remember. That was at least four years ago. You still have them? Of course. After I moved away, we didn't get a chance to spend time like we used to. I remember how much I was looking forward to seeing you again. I honestly don't even know how you managed to find these tickets, but in the end you gave them to Stacy and me. You didn't even get to see the movie. I didn't mind. I was there to see Jody's film anyway. And I was glad to see... Wait. And I was glad you guys had a good time. See, it was... Well, it meant a lot to me. And I want to know you to know that. Me though, I... I'm sure you would have done the same. And yes, and the last one. Remember this? Of course, it's a photo from your housewarming party. That's when you first moved in here. Yeah, last two years ago. That's Actually, I just noticed that Baya changed her haircut. And I think in the, in the eight years past, it was also a, bit, a little bit different. I think her hair were like this long, but fluffier. But anyway. Of course, I never Oh, yeah, I already did that. It's been two years. <laughs> it seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, I was really down that day. I had to move in with the gang because of Stacy and I. Well, you know. And you went out of your way to make this memory. It ended up being an awesome party. It meant a lot to me then, and it still means a lot to me now. Do you know I keep this picture on my bookshelf? When I look back on that day, I don't remember being sad. I remember what great friends I have, like you. 
Minnow, thank you, that's really sweet. Yeah, an outdate already. So, but um, I realized what I was going through my boxes that you have been a really important part of my life. We have known each other for eight and a half years. You have always been there for me. You are literally my best friend. You always have been and always will be. Well, maybe she wants to be more than just friends, you know? Guess what I'm trying to say is, thank you. I'm really happy to have you in my life. I'm just really grateful for you. I want to always have you in my life. Well, is that a proposal or something? You know, are you asking me out? What? I... That's not what I... Yeah, well, you, you are really dense here. I was just trying to, uh... But actually, now you mention it, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's really half-assed here. Baya, do you want to go out with me? I would love to, Milo. I thought you would never ask. Well, I thought too. I thought Baya was about to ask, to be honest. I thought I would have to ask you. Yes, exactly what I was thinking. I guess I bet you out to it. Uh, huh? Uh, well, only slightly. So, um... You still want to go to the Regal Seagull? Can be our first date? Oh yeah, that that makes sense. Come on, let's go! Oh man, I have to tell you about the blind date I just had. <laughs> Alright, so what happened? It was so weird. Well, to start off, he showed up wearing a feather and sunglasses. And a Santa bird. What? No way! Yeah. That's kind of very weird. Ten hours ago. So that's a... F oh, this is going very fast now, ain't it? I guess it's... Yeah, it's gonna be in front of the... Corporation, right? Yeah, with Jaren and he's gonna help with a flat tire, I guess. Huh. I really hope I'm not making a fool of myself. What if it wa really was a fake number? I'm not gonna think I'm such a loser coming all this way thinking that someone as cool as her would actually give me her number. No, I can't give up yet. I don't know for sure it was a fake number. I have to see this through to the end, come what may. Alright, this is the address. I might have been a tad too enthusiastic getting here. I'm 30 minutes early. I'll go wait in the lobby and kill some time doing some space nash raid. Um, right, what can I do? Do something with that? Can't go anywhere without my phone. Most essential of all most portable gaming device. Besides, it has a great microphone and camera. What if I need documentation of all the cool stuff I do? Hey. Where are you, BB Banish? Should really get going. And I might be visiting that office soon. Wait, is it going to be like... Yeah, there's tons of things around. Yeah, but I can't touch any of it because... I need to get forward with the storm. But isn't this guy... Yeah, that's... Andy, hey man. Welcome to my room. We don't totally have paperwork in here. Joking aside, I'm trying to relieve some stress before a major presentation. Oh, uh, well I just had a question. Uh, let's ask about work first, because Anna is gonna be next one. So about your work? Look man, I don't want to think about work right now, I just want to play my game. Uh, no, no, no. Hey man, by any chance, do you know someone named Anna? Uh, actually yeah, she's a new Indian with the investment company we are meeting with. Remember seeing her during some meetings a few months ago? Real sharp girl, pretty cute too. Mm hmm. But you didn't hear me say that. I'd get so fired for hitting on the intern. Wow. Well, you are not hitting on her if you are just saying that. Oh, BB Bunny's here. What are you doing here, little buddy? It's a plush toy from that BB Bunny store. Uh, no, 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 not this way. What is that? Hey, somebody dropped their wallet. I should see if it belongs to anybody. I hope no one thinks I'm stealing this. Wait, is there some kind of clue? No, no, no. Yes. 
It has a driver license that belongs to a brown haired one. His first name is Samuel. Oh yeah. Uh should we get going? Okay, 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 okay. Where is Sam? This guy Oh that's a gardener. The one that we ages ago that we managed to make date some random girl that was looking him up. Hey, how is the weather up here? Never had that one before. <laughs> Who is that girl? I don't. She reminds me of something, but it's not a main character. She looks too cool to care. Wow. Should leave. Okay, 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 okay. It's a poster for a bun called a pony for princess. Isn't that like my little pony? There's no post there, but there is awesome flyers for a group called RG and the Circuits. Okay. It's a post there for an, an EDM artist called Three Electrons. I think the name doesn't ring a bell. We get going. Okay, okay. It's a post there for an indie group called Analog Hertz. Okay, okay. I guess it's not gonna go anywhere. He looks stumped about something. I don't happen to have seen my wallet around here. Well, I was going to drive home to pick up something, but I can't find my wallet. I don't want to drive without my license. Couldn't be too far from here. Actually, I did find a wallet. Here you go. Where do you find it? it was by those bushes near the blue car. Well, that's my car. My wallet must have fallen out of my pocket when I was getting out. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. You want to drive home without making sure I had my wallet? No problem. <laughs> Woohoo! Jaren saves the day once again. This is good action today. Let's see here. That killed about three minutes. Man, this is taking forever. I wonder if there is a better way to kill time. Maybe I should try waiting inside. Isn't there something else we can do outside? Okay, okay, I guess. I guess nothing is gonna happen outside. Oh, nothing else. Let's get inside then. Wow, what a nice office. How, how can I help you? Hello there, I'm here to meet someone. Oh, you must be one of the representatives from ours. Hold on a moment. Oh, okay. Perfect time, Mara, Mr. Shai is here. Oh, ye oh yes, of course, hello there, you must be Rinden. Hello, uh, who, what? So where are my manners? I'm Mara, the CEO of Nanovolt. It's an absolute solid pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, cool. I'm Jaren. Nice to meet you too. Jaren? Yeah, I, I think you got the wrong guy. I'm here to meet with a friend. Does your friend walk here? Nah, I just know she'll be here today. So I was hoping I could find her today. So you are not from ours? Nope. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir, but we're expecting important guests today. I'm going to have to uh, you. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to have you ask you to leave. To have to to ask you to leave. Yeah. So, yeah. Ah, the English is a bit weird here, but okay. Okay, no problem. Sorry about that. I'll just wait outside. Bummer. Well, that didn't go so well. I'll just find a way to kill them while I'll wait out there. Perhaps some investigative work is in order. I'm sure there is a mystery for Detective Jaren to solve somewhere around here. Okay, let's go look this. What a pompous cactus. It has you know, its own pot and everything. Okay. Are there any mystery to be solved in this shady secret? Nope. Maybe... 
Oh, wait. Maybe there are mysteries further in. All I see is shrubbery. I doubt the shrubbery holds great mysteries or problems that need solving. What? The shrub is actually answering? What? <laughs> Nature call could always use some assistance in this concrete jungle. What? Oh, what? Did the plan just talk? I must be staying up too late. Let's try again. I require your assistance, Space Knight. Well, okay, that's from his game. He's definitely... Did he, like, forget to take his pill? Like, his not saying stuff pill this morning? Uh, I require assistance, Space Knight. My fellow plants are being cruelly imprisoned by the dark spectators inside this rich box of capitalism. They need your help. I never saw I would say this, but maybe I've been playing too much Space Knights. <laughs> you serve violently in the Shrub Wars against the Dark Spectators and their Star Dragons long ago. We ask you to raise your broadsword of light once more to fight for nature and free my prison. Listen, Listen buddy, I'm not going to break into an office building and start stealing their plants. That's crazy. Your only hope! Uh. Is that really what I'm supposed to do? Like. I, I, I'm really supposed to go in and. Just going to wait outside, otherwise, I'll not get yelled at again. Uh, okay. Those ones? If I get thirsty, I can cup it up and, and drink the pulp. I saw it on the survival show. What a boom biscuit, it has the own pot. Okay. Hit a button. Um, can I talk to something? There's some cool sloped rocks here, fitting for a desert garden scene. These rocks would make excellent pets if you want to use your imagination. Uh, okay, that's. Alright. Oh, is he, she looking for something? Hipster boy, and maybe you can help me. What's wrong? I'm super lost. I was told that there is a retro game shop on Baseline, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, do you mean Gameforge? Yeah, that's the one. I saw online that they have a really rare physical copy of Lifeless Planet. I wanted to go pick it up before someone snatches it. I actually work at Gameforge. No kidding, what a coincidence! Yep, we have a lot of rare releases. Limited run physical copies. That's what the website said. So where's the store for me? Oh, it's... Um... Well, it's technically next to the rabbit... No, wait. No, that's not next to it. And it's not near Little Tokyo, so... I know it like the back of my hand. Just a couple blocks down that way. Go past 8th Street and before you get to 9th Street you will see it on the right. Okay. Well that makes... Okay, I guess I wasn't wrong since I got the, an achievement here. That makes sense, it's near the, where the tea festival was a couple weeks ago. Weeks ago. Yep, the festival was right in front of us. It sucks, man. No problem, take care. Woohoo! Detective Jaren saves the day. I even got us a new customer. That killed about two minutes. I should look around for more. Oh, a cactus. Looks like this little guy could do some sun. Yeah, shouldn't leave, okay. They're having a conversation, better not interrupt. Okay. What the heck is that sound? Yeah, that sounds like a flat tire. Oh geez, that doesn't look too so good. Maybe it's time for Detective Jaron to retire and Mechanic Jaron to shine. Okay, let's go. 
help him. I love how he's like standing with his hand in his pocket like mm, yeah something happened mm, don't know what to do about it are you alright uh guess not I was driving home but when I turned all of a sudden it felt like the car was getting a bit I haven't driven my car for in a while so I figured out to pull over and take a look at what's going on and well this oh that's a flat tire mate Seems like you got a flat tire. You think it'll be alright if I had to make it a few more miles? Miles now. Couple of meters, yes, maybe a hundred or something. Miles? Nah. Shouldn't be driving on this. No safe. I have some time to kill. You need a hand changing your tire? Honestly, I've never done something like that like this before, so yeah, I could really use some help. No problem, they don't call me Mechanic Jaren for nothing. You're a mechanic? Not really, but I'll do in a pinch. Anyway, first thing first, we need to turn on your hazard light and make sure your parking brakes is engaged. Safety first is Mechanic Jaren's motto. Oh, uh, right, should have thought of that. Yeah, that's right. Okay, the hazard light and parking brakes are on. Well, technically your hazard light is not on or something is wrong with it because the front lights are not turning on. Now what? Now we need some tool. Lug wrench, car jack, oil wedges, all the junk. Am I supposed to have those? Usually people have that stuff in the trunk. Oh, uh. Okay, here, I'll unlock the trunk. Okay, let's check it then. Let me see. Okay, well, you have a spare tire at least. That's good news, but uh oh. No tool? Don't worry, they are usually hidden behind some sort of side door. And they are not here. And I have an older car now. I bought it maybe five years ago. It was pretty old back then. Probably just never came with it. Well, I have one in my own car and it's quite old and actually it's something that's not very much uh, common these days now, at least in France. Yeah, I'm surprised. Maybe we can borrow someone else's? Cars usually come with a set of these tools, so if we ask around, someone is bound to have them. Hey, it's really nice of you to help out. Don't know if there is any way uh, to make this up to you. Not to worry about rewards, there is nothing to make up for. Helping someone out is just the right thing to do. If I was the one with a flat tail, I'm sure you'd be helping me, right? I guess I'd do that, what I could, but that's not a lot. I don't know anything about cars. I'm gonna try to get a hold of my instruments, maybe they can help out, so you don't have to do as much. Okay, I'll get started on finding some tool. First, I'm going to need some wheel wedges. Um, and some creative use of wooden pallets on the internet. Maybe it's a trash can. Yep, smells like you would expect. There's a crowbar here. A crowbar. If you to create with this, it will burst into pieces. Well, nice reference to Halfman, but Half-Life, I mean, yeah. Hey man, you work here, right? Yep. You drive to work today? Oh, uh, yes. Who are you again? Oh, sorry, I'm Jaron. My friend's car has a flat tire. I was wondering if you had any tools we could borrow. I'm sorry, but I really need to distress before this big meeting. Playing games not my fault helps, you know, center myself. Games on this phone, he says. Hmm, I wonder if you play Space Knights. Uh, let's maybe play with him. Are you playing Space Knights by any chance? Out of chaos, heck yeah I am! Finally, a fellow Space Knight. Oh dude, what rank are you? 125 only started playing a year ago. Well, I'm still at 57, but I got the SSR Lace Grimoire yesterday. So hopefully she can carry me to rank 100 in no time. Whoa, she wasn't even on rate up. Anyway, are you on the global server? <laughs> That's more buggy stuff now. Yup. 
No way, you should have add me. I'm Hypipotamus. <sighs> okay. Sure, I'll add you right now. Cool, so since we're on break, could you spare a couple of minutes and help us out a bit? Yes, anything to take my mind off the meeting. Besides, I'm happy to help a f out a fellow space knight. So what did you say your problem with your car friend's car was? Oh, he's got a flat uh, and no tools to change his tires. I was wondering if you'd had any tools in your cars. Absolutely, let me take a look. Yep, here they are, yeah. Sweet. I'm going to head back in, so make sure things are going okay. You might see me later if the investor shows up. Just put the tools back in my trunk when you're done. Only ask that you don't put any dead bodies in there, okay? Thanks, man. No worries. Good luck. Hey. Is this girl... Can I speak to her? She looks like she's really into that book. I'd better not bother her. Hey. Man, looks like nothing else to do. Let's do it then. Not ready to use the card back yet. What? Why? Front wheel is a flat one. Yes. We need to find something to wedge the wheel with. All the girl, the car is gonna roll away when we change the tire. Makes sense. So what kind of wedges do we need? Well, roll away. Oh. Wait, really? I thought parking brake was fine by itself. Because now that I think about it, last time I changed my front tires, well, the guys that did it didn't put any wedges. It was fine? I kind of don't get it. Oh, why? What? Okay. For some reason, my uh, my iPhone that I'm using for my uh, my VTubing form was out uh, of battery and the cable was not probably connected. Oh, that's that's fine now. Anyway, I think we can use nothing on hand. Sorry, don't people just like find rocks or something? Yeah, the the rocks that we found in front of the cactus thing. Yeah, that should work. This is less of a science and more of an art. Actually, it's less of an art and more of, more of a hack job. <laughs> Rex looks wedgy enough. That might do the trick. Time to put the babies behind the back tire. Are they saying something now? Not the same. Can we? Nothing we can do. Let's put that. There we go. Now the car won't be rolling around. Great. We don't want my car leaving me, leaving without me. So where are you headed anyway? If you don't mind me asking. Just head it home. A friend is visiting me tonight and I haven't seen her for ages. So I wanted to try and clear out some stuff before she came over. How long have you known you? How long have you known your friend? Like eight and a half years or so. Whoa, eight and a half years. She must mean a lot to you. I mean, yeah, but it's it's nothing serious, if that's what you're thinking. In fact she's going on a blind date tonight. What else friends, that's all. Hmm, nothing gets past Detective Jiren's intuition. I'm definitely feeling something there, just from the way you talk about her. Well, maybe. It was just never a good timing for either of us. Yes, 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 yes. Well, I think we should bring it up next time you see her. It's something you should he she should hear. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of seeing her again, we need to get you back on the road. Uh, yes, that's actually a good point. 
Not ready to use the car jack yet. Well, what do you need now? Sure, your car won't roll away. You want to remove the hubcap? How do you do that? With a flat side of a log wrench. First time I tried to change the flat, I tried to unscrew the fake lug nut decoration of the hubcap. Didn't realize the real one went under this. Ended up breaking the hubcap and had to get a new one. Wow. Now I have a real a cool mantra for hubcap removal. What's that? If something is too shiny to be practical, it's probably not practical. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Anyway, some guy from the office nearby lent me a log wrench. I'll have this puppy off in no time. Any luck? No, my end wrench is in a weird spot because I just moved. Why you move? I used to live here in college. I moved back to focus on my filmmaking and, you know, basically with friends. My, uh partner and I broke up not too long ago. I just wanted to get away from things. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay, I wanted different things. Anyway, I'm looking ahead now. Things will get better. That's a good philosophy. So now we need, you need to remove the hubcap from the wheel. This should pop off real quick. Alright, hubcap is off. Uh, yeah, what? You need the tire now? At least you have the spare. Yeah, at least I know enough to have a spare here. Huh? It'll be fine. It will be fine. With a little elbow grease and some kindness from strangers, we can get you up and running in no time. Yeah, what do you need now? So you have the hubcap off, you want to loosen the lug nuts, suggest the tad. Those are the things holding the wheels on your car. About a half turn with the lugs wrench should do. Don't want them to come off just yet. Oh, that's why it's called a lug wrench for lug nuts. What's wrong, Ray? Wait, don't you need to take the lug off, nuts off to get the tire off? Why are you only losing them? You don't want the tire to falling off while you are still trying to jack up the car. It could fall on your feet or roll away. Well, yeah, but what about not? doing it here and just lift it up before oh no 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 lug nuts are loosened hey time to raise the car i need to find the best load bearing point what about that part yep that works Whew, this is hard work I really don't want to lose these lug nuts. Yeah. Like, time to take the flat off. Pop. Let's go to stash in your trunk. When you go to the mechanics, they can patch it up for you. Perfect. Thank you so much. I'll let the flat tire rest in here. It got very tired. Ah. Ah, hey, that's fine. And now for the spare. <laughs> Easy does it. Careful. Awesome. And we're not done yet. Now we need to do that whole process again, but in reverse. Right. Uh. Yeah. Put the nuts. Alright, those are on. It's time to load the car to where the tire is just, is just touching the asphalt. Why not all the way? Because the wheel isn't secure yet. We don't want to put pressure on the loose no lug nuts or they might bend or break or even pop out. Right, okay, I get it. There, there, our little car jack. Let me relieve you of your burden. Then you could. Just. Uh, oh well. Never mind. The lug nuts are not secure and ready for departure, so let's slow the car completely now. Actually, just. Why does he still have the hubcap? But why? I'm going to lower the car completely now, so watch your toes. 
Phew. Did I mention how grateful I am for your help? Back where you belong, little buddy. And there you have it. I changed the heck out of that flat of that tire. So is that it? Pretty much. You should rem we should remove the wheel wedges before we drive up so. Shouldn't I I don't need the log wrench anymore? Okay, let's remove those then. Wheel wedges are removed. You are good to go. Oh, that was fast. I don't know what to say. I'm really glad you you were here. Uh, why are you here anyway? I don't want to be rude. It just doesn't seem like you are all that busy. I mean, you practically jumped at the opportunity to help me. It's kind of a crazy story. I'm trying to meet up with that girl. She should be showing up any minutes for a meeting at that building over here. I had to practically hunt her down. I just hope she doesn't think I'm a creep of her showing up like this. Why would she think you were a creep? The number she gave me got smudged so I couldn't call her. I had to go through these whole things just to find out where she would be today. And the number she gave me might have been a fake number in the first place, so... But I'm not sure. I just want her to think... I don't want her to think I'm just some weirdo. Well, don't get cold, Pitt. I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. Besides, you know, you came this far, you may as well talk to her. What harm could it do? Hey, thanks, man. You're right. You're right. What have I got to lose? Good luck. I'm gonna head up now. Thanks again for the tire help. Really? No problem, pal. Hmm. Well, that should sure kill some time. It's been 27 minutes. Any minute now, and I will show up. Oh, I can't forget to put Andy's tool back. I'm gonna put the wedges back first because I guess it's. I still haven't seen Anna and starting to get me a little worried. I hope I didn't miss her. Wait, when? No! I wanted to put the things back. I need to run to the bathroom to clean myself before the meeting. But. I want. Oh no! Jaren? Yeah, I guess I missed an achievement here to put back the stuff. Eh. Uh. Hey, um. Can I meet you guys inside? Sure, we're running a bit early, but don't take too long. Thanks! Now for the best couple of the game! Jaren, it's so good to see you! What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just shopping and I just uh, happened to be here. Oh, right, I just thought... Never mind, I ha uh, have a meeting I'm supposed to get to, I guess. Don't let me hold you up. Yeah, stop her. Wait, I I'm not sh here to shop. I actually came here because, well, I had such a good time at the tea festival and it wasn't because of the tea. You took me out of my comfort zone and since then I've done so many things that I you wouldn't believe just to find you. And there is no capital on the A from end. I'm triggered. I feel like I've worked at least three jobs. I even did a ramen challenge. I just needed to talk to you again. Why didn't you just call me? I gave you my number. I was waiting for you to call me. Well, uh, you see, your number got smudged pretty much the moment you gave it to me. Sweaty poems there. Couldn't read it, and believe me, I tried. That explains it. Wow, so you went through all the trouble of, tra of tracking me down? Yeah, and your parents gave me the number they had and... Well, I could read enough of the number you gave me to tell it was a different number, so I thought... You thought I gave you a fake number? Yeah, you don't think I'm a creep for tracking you down now, do you? What? No! If you hadn't, I never would have heard of from you. Yeah. So then, what's with the numbers? I told you, I gave you my work number. Exactly what I was saying when you did that. God damn it. Uh, you are pretty much a bad detective, Jaren. My family has my cell number. The boss doesn't like it when we are on our cell phones at work because, you know, 
social media distractions gave me a long line phone at my desk since I'm managing clients and I'm there all the time so I thought that would be the best way to get in touch with me. Whoa, so this was just a big misunderstanding. I, I, I'm really glad I came here. Uh, speaking of which, I still don't, you know, have your number. Let me just put my number directly into your phone. Yeah, something you should have done in the first place, but okay. I hope that clears that up. I need to get this to this meeting, but um, would you like to meet up later? I know this was a regal seagull. Oh, oh, so I guess all three couples are basically gonna all meet up together at that bar, like tonight. I would love to. Great, it's a date. See you later, Jaren. See you later, Anna. It's a date! <laughs> yes, reconnected, uh, but there is multiple problems now. I didn't put the tools back. And plus, another thing is why it was there's a hubcap on the flat tire then. But anyway, chapter 12, now, that's the last chapter. Somehow I managed to mess up everything. I start off the day by spilling tea all over him at Fellini Cafe. Then I completely butchered my speech in front of everyone. And of course, best thing to do after all that is to close my temper and splash wine all over his face at the restaurant. Actually, I'm kind of wondering how Rindon is gonna end up here. Because, well, oh, 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 actually on the right, we can already see Baya and Milo being here already. And there is this buff guy, like this is a buff tea guy, standing next to the toilet. Okay. Perhaps he deserves a wine pot just a little. Oh, Mara, you're being a bit, a bit of a bitch here. More importantly, though, my company. How am I supposed to tell everyone tomorrow? He's really not a bad guy. I don't even know why he just infuriates me so much. Are you at Sunday now? <sighs> Time is it? It's too late o'clock. Half past eight. No, more like half past eight. Ha <laughs> ha. Guess I should just finish my drink and. Here's a, he comes in, yay! Guys, I really don't think this is the right place for me. Come on, man, you've had a rough day. You need to relax a bit. I'll buy you a drink. I'm okay, you know I don't drink. Thanks, though. Dude, if today is not a day to start drinking, I don't know what is. Kate, if he doesn't want to drink, then don't make him drink. Brendan, you can always chat up people here, have fun, dance a little or something. Yeah man, don't worry about the date, it happens. There are plenty more fisherwomen in the boats or something. No, yeah, fishes in the sea. No man, it's not even that. It's a... Uh... Oh, the waiter spilling wine all over you? Yeah, the waiter. Well, I hope you didn't hit him. I'm going to grab us some drinks. Brandon, you sure you don't want anything? Yeah, I'm good. It's a usual white Russian for you, Anna? Yep, thanks. Alright, I'll be right back. Cheer up, Brandon. I know things haven't, been, haven't really been going your way, but I'm sure everything will be fine in the end. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks, Anna. Didn't you say you are meeting your friend here? Yeah, I am. He should be here already. Well, he is. Oh, there he is! Well, what are you waiting for? Go say hi! You'll be okay, right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, you look fine. Go say hi to your friend before he leaves. Okay, I'll talk to you later. 
Of course it show up here. Of all bars in the city, just my luck. I suppose I should go apologize or something. Uh, kinda. If I'm going to ruin his day, I may as well ruin it all the way. Ah. Hmm, a lot of familiar faces here tonight. Oh well, 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 bye and Milo. Well, well, well. Looks like the video game company next to our office, Serenity Forge, is having some kind of celebration. That's the name of the company that made this game. Uh, am I going to have all the developers having some kind of sprites or something here? How comes those regal seal? Why can't I get you? I'll have to think about it some more. Hey. Got to watch it out here. Almost he got hit in the head with a dart. Hey, don't I know you? Yeah, Mara from Mother Vault. Oh yeah, that's right. That was a wild pitch today. Sure was. Anyway, thanks again for hosting us. How about should be making a decision pretty soon? You should hear from us in a few weeks or so. Great, thanks. Yeah, well. I, I guess she got, like, spoiled a bit? Maybe? That's Kevin and his partner Justin. Kevin is a marketing and publishing director at Serenity Forge. Yeah, so that was my hunch, like, the characters that are in here are like the character, the, the real life counterparts that made the game or something. Unlike they are trying to decide what to cook together this upcoming weekend. Okay. That's Max, Serenity's Forge composer. Not in his spare time, he likes to dabble in rocket science. Rocket science? Okay. That's Kevin, one of the lead programmers of Serenity Forge. Sounds like he's debating with another programmer. Just mentioning something about space pirates. What, space pirates in like half as fate? That would be interesting, I guess. I believe this is Z and his wife Maddie. Z is the executive producer at Serenity Forge, the game development studio next to my office, okay? That's that they are expecting a baby girl in April. Well, what? Like, Z? Is that a g name? Okay. That's Christina, a pixel artist at Serenity Forge. Looks like she's out enjoying the night with her husband. Are talking about shield turns and kayfabe? It's technical software of development jargon, I'm sure. Shield turns and key kayfabe? Is that keyframes? Shield turns. Filters? Filters and keyframes? That's, that's a bit of a weird one here, okay. But okay, yeah. Uh, oh, actually, P, P Bunny somewhere, vintage telephone box, or does it call like a kiosk? Pep sure is committed to this timing. Come go in here. See, I think he's watching by and Milo. Yes, joke. What are you? Shh. You know, I swear the guy over he there is the director of You Are What You Eat. If he's eating there. That must mean the food is really good. What? You mean Milo? So that is him. Yeah, that's him. I love the documentary. It's my favorite film of all time. It's actually what inspired me to learn about food and start getting in shape. I wouldn't be here today without him. Maybe you should go say hi. I bet you he would appreciate that. No way, he's not going to want someone like me bothering him. I'm just grateful to be in his presence. Okay, so Suit yourself. Yeah, that's Mara. All right. Hello, Milo. I haven't seen you since the last time I was over to visit Jody. How have you been? Yes, yeah, that's two years ago. Okay. I've been great. It's good to see you again, Mara. You've met Baya before, right? Yep, we met at the film festival a few years back. And also your housewarming party. Oh yeah, you had longer hair back then. Good to see you again, Mara. Oh yeah. 
I liked her better with her long hair, to be honest. But I digress. Also, we literally just saw each other at the restaurant. But I'm not going to bring that up because that would be way too awkward. So how are you... Aren't you the girl who was on the date with Rindon earlier? Oh my god. Curse is Mara. Why do you not know when to shut up? Uh, yes, I was actually. Were you there too? Yeah, kind of. Should have said I. Anyway, I'm away. I'm glad you guys finally got together. Jody has told me so much about you too. How does she know they are together now? Oh, shucks, Mara. You're such a sweetie, Mara. I'll get out of your hair. Hope you enjoy your evening. Thanks, Mara. You too. Right, what are those guys? Dad, what are you doing here? I thought you were sick. Yeah, but Oscar wanted to come to some kind of video game developer party tonight. So here I am. Come to think of it, you've never met my husband, Oscar, have you? I believe so. Pleasure meeting you, Oscar. Pleasure is all mine. How did the pitch go? Jay, tell me you had some kind of secret mission tonight? It didn't work. That's too bad. Yeah, it's alright Mara, I'm sure everything will turn out fine, as long as we keep trying, there's always hope. I'm glad you think so, Todd. Yeah. More developer? That's Cam, he used to work at Serenity Forge. I heard he single-handedly created many very famous indie games. Okay. That's Alex, the new guy at Serenity Forge. He used to be a chemical engineer, but I guess he wanted to do something more fun instead. Hey, chemistry is fun. Don't say that. Congrats, not ridden. Looks like your stunt worked. Hey, Mara, you know? You two know the chosen? Yeah, haha, <laughs> kind of a long story. I've got time. Okay, so I need to start from the beginning. You know how I accidentally smudged your number right after you gave it to me? I should leave it in the. Yeah, the, he's, he's restarting it right from the start of this. On timeline or something. Jade, what are you doing here? Not remember? I promised Samuel that I'd come to hang out with him and his friends. Also, my sister said she needed help with her new product again. Wow. Would you like to try a sample? No, thank you. Come on, sis. Don't embarrass me in front of us. So, did the plan work out? No, I'm, I'm not really in the mood to talk about it right now. Dang. Well, cheer up, Mara. We'll figure something out. Thanks, Jade. That's a chessboard? I don't know how anyone could focus on a game of chess in such a noisy environment. I don't think the people sitting in here are even playing. Yeah, they're not even looking the right direction. But Chrissy and partner David. Chris. Chess. Kersti? Kersti? Is the director of development at Serenity Forge. I hear they just got engaged. They look really happy right now. Actually, I realize those people like this girl, like, well, th this couple, plus um, that girl, and maybe some other character, but I didn't notice. Those are people we met, but that were mostly either in the background or just having a few lines only. Tonya, artist and animators at Serenity Forge. They be pretty quiet. Well, I'm gonna go quickly about the work guys from Serenity Forge because. Hey, not that I want to disrespect them or something, but it's getting kinda long and uh, it's not that interesting to be honest. And this friend Matt. Oh, that's Matt! Shame that he and Baya didn't work out. They're a great guy though. In the end, we didn't learn why they broke up like. Really, I would have liked to have the, the details about Dalton, watch out! Mara? What are you doing here? What do you do mean? We come to the regal seagull all the time. We invited you before, but you always said you were busy with work, so we figured out you just didn't want to come. Well, no, it's because I'm usually busy, I'm busy with my work. Are you not busy tonight? No, I'm still busy, but not just not with work. Well, not directly related to work. I'm 
Well, I haven't seen you all day. You stepped out of the fist and we're gone the rest of the day. I told you last week and again this morning, Mara. I had to leave early today because of because my friends in town. Then we decided to come hang out with our friend from Serenity Forge. I see. I must have missed that. And that's understandable. We we're pretty flustered this morning. Chai was barking up a storm because you locked her bone in your office. Oh, sorry about that. It's okay, I'm uh, managed. Damn it, once again. Oh, a single letter what is missing. Ah. Managed to get a spare key from Lars before the presentation started, so she wasn't barking the whole time. I was a bitch. That told me it didn't go so well, but you had a backup plan? Well, the backup plan failed too. Bummer. Yeah, I... I don't remember to talk about it now. Okay. Any chance you could scoot over so that I can get through? No can do, boss. This is dart on his own. And you just stop playing dart for one second. Sorry, we don't make the dart rule. No crossing this step unless you're ready to dart. Are you ready to dart? Ah. Uh. I'm just going to go around. Yeah, go around. That's Alicia and her fiance Ryan. Yeah, he's a 2D artist. But she's recently moved away. I guess they must have a new town too. Okay. Wamara, well, you're here too? That's so weird. Why? Why are you here with Chai? The bot doesn't allow, allow the dog inside, and Samuel wanted to hang out with his buddies. Okay, you're dog sitting. You shy. Yes, you are a good girl. She's just barking all the time. But who are my Maras? Tell her this is Mara, Jody's sister. She's my boss at the tech company I'm working at right now. Hey there. I think I saw you at the film house party once. Yep, I'm so surprised you remember me. I haven't been to one of those in ages. Yeah, you haven't had one in ages. We were going to have one tonight. I made a giant pot of chili and everything. Yeah, but Mario, you won't believe this. Milo ended up ditching us and went out with Baya. How are Milo? He's our Baya. What? Am I right? And of course, like the good friend we are, we had to follow them and... Uh, well, we had to make sure they are safe, you know. It's dark out and we don't, we don't want them to be kidnapped or something. Right, exactly. We are good friends. Oh, Jody and Charlotte. Hey, sis. I think you would run into you here. You're right. You look a little down. All right, it's been a long day. Oh, honey, what happened? Don't worry about it. Jody is fine. Your Mara. Love your dress. Your dress, Mara. Yeah, I love it so much. You, you said it twice. Are those pockets? Indeed. Oh, come on, Char. You've only had one drink. Oh. Oh. But... Pockets! I admit, that is pretty cool. You do enjoy your date. I have some unfinished business to attend to. Let me know if there is anything I, have, um, I can help you with. Love you, sis. I'll leave you two alone. So, uh. No, I should. Don't run from this. Okay. Kiara, I mean, two Jacobs in turns. Okay. But where is the next BB Rabbits? I didn't want to miss it, to be honest. Gonna roll back a bit. Oh, 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 oh. Is it in here? No? Can I access from here? Damn it, no. That's a bit weird. Is it next? But if it's next, it's like. Isn't that going to be the end when I enter back here? Or maybe I can just not talk to Rindon yet. Kind of, okay. Oh, old couple, yes. It's like father and son, yes. Da 
direct draw, okay. Weighted down, specializing in games about love and life. Looks like he's in town to hang out with Serge, Forge folks. Said something about wanting to go bowling. That's Andy, lead programmer, technical producer, planning out detail of a new action adventure game. Abby, artist. Eric, lead programmer. That's it, but hmm, where could the last one be? Well, it's, uh, it's not that big, so it shouldn't be that much. Of thing to work. something to eat. Wait. Actually, I have some great lying around, and they are pretty good, and make for a good snack. Easy to snack. Well, let's go with random, I guess. Hey. Oh, that's awkward now. Hey. I want to just. I want you to know that I'm sorry. What? I'm so sorry about earlier. I said some stupid stuff that I didn't mean and I... No, I mean, could you speak up? I can't hear you over all this noise. Oh, well, let's step outside. Okay. There we go, fresh air. Never been a fan of this type of establishments. In bars? Yeah, not my thing. Sorry, I cut you off earlier. What are you saying? I wanted to let you know that I'm sorry to have been a tough day for both of us. It must have been exhausting for you to change into a new suit every time I spill something in onto you. Yes. Yes, that's not something you want. You kidding me? I got to do it by noon. Ha. Ha. Nice weather today. We want to walk around for a bit. Sure, get me away from this loud music. That's a cell phone guy. Again. Stars are beautiful tonight. Oh. Isn't it the moon that's beautiful tonight? Yes, they are. Come here often? Nah, I don't really go to bar. I don't drink. Yeah, you are a bit of a party pooper. Makes sense. Yeah, you, you too, Mara, actually. Oh, the couple with the gardener. You know how I was at the restaurant earlier for my date? Mm, yeah. I think I just saw her with someone else. So much for that dating app. Oh, the Japanese couple. Do you go on a lot of dates? Ah, yes, I meet a lot of people. I'm just bad at dating when it counts. I'm actually really good at helping other people with their romantic troubles. I see. Well, you want to take a stab at mine? Oh, is someone you're having issues with? Yeah, lots of issues. She, she's talking about Rindon, to be honest, I think. Alright, hey to me. What's this guy like? Is he hot? Oh, he's definitely cute, but he's kind of a jerk. Ouch. And? He's got an amazing sense of fashion, which is a plus. Oh, I can totally dig that. Lastly, it doesn't it really doesn't help that I spilled at least three beverage on him today. Oh, whoa, 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 Mara, that's really roundabout way to say it, but Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's cute in its way. In its own way. So I guess his diversified wardrobe is probably just shrunk a bit. This guy still sounds suspiciously like me. You said you are good with other people romantic troubles, so. What do I do? You are great guys, Rindon. You just take me off so much. 
My walk means so much to me and I can't compartmentalize my life like that. I thought I had finally found the right business partner to bring that novel to market. Is it a bit misunderstanding again and it's not what it wanted to say? Or is he gonna go the way like, oh, but I can talk to the board again about your project or something like that? Mm. And I thought I had finally found someone who already understood my vision, someone who had my back. I'm so sorry, Mara. Really, I don't know what to say. Truth be told, I'm still totally with you on Nanoval, but ultimately, I'm not the one who makes those choices. Yeah, I know, the board of directors, mysterious men in suits, sitting around large table, behind closed door, blah blah. I've been pitching long enough to know how it works. It's really not that bad. Our board of directors have great intentions. They are just always under a lot of pressure. I'm sure they had their reasons. And honestly, with your passion and your value-driven team, I have no doubts you'll find the right investment partner. Heck, you need to find the right investment partner. Our world depends on it. Really means that? Of course, Nanovolt, that's just a great cause. It's exactly the type of new technology that our world needs right now. Thanks, Rindon. That means a lot to me. No problem. Any... what? Was that a phone... Notification? Thingy? Anyway, enough is this downer. This isn't even close to being the first time I've faced rejection. There are lots of investors in the world. I'm going to keep pitching until literally every human being in the world says no. Until then, I'm not going to stop. That's a spirit. What a weird day, right? So many random coincidences. Well, it's half past fate. What do you know? Oh, the hippie guy. Hey, Earth Warrior. Earth Warrior. Oh, hello again. What a small world. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt your dates. Just wanted to give a shout out. Oh, it's not a date. We are just colleagues. Right on, right on. Well, have a good evening. Know that man? Yeah, I met him this morning at the same coffee shop where, you know. You know, I actually really enjoyed spending this time with you today. Yeah. How should we be begging? Okay. I'm gonna grab that afterwards. You did? Yeah, I mean, up until you dump wine on my favorite bow tie. Oh, uh, yeah. Really sorry about that. Did your blind did ever call you anything since they didn't show up? Uh, no. Oh, that's too bad. I honestly can't believe someone like you could get sued up. What do you mean? I mean, you're intelligent, driven, ambitious, can hurt it, and... You know, not bad looking. Not bad looking? That's not what I meant. What I meant was... You're beautiful. Oh, thanks. Kiss her. Have a confession. My dad never showed up because I wasn't to date. What do you mean? I made up the whole story. I wasn't there on blind dates. One of my employees overheard you and Kate talk about your date on your way out. I figured that if I played it right, I could have maybe been at the right place at the right time, maybe gotten more FaceTime in before you guys made a decision of Nanobolt. Goes well, we all know how well the demo went. Oh, well, really? That's actually really amazing. You're not mad? No, why would I be? It's fantastic how much you care about your company to go through all that just to get another stab at it. That's what I love about you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, dates, you two are definitely workaholic. Not like I truly really made a difference in the end. Yeah, I guess not. So I know I can't change our board's decision, but... Here, I think I know some other people who might be interested in finding Nanobolt. You can tell them Rindon Shaw recommended you. Wow, thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, uh... What's up? That's strange. Why would a seagull do with a phone? 
Who cares? It took my phone. It dissolves my contacts and stuff. And you don't have backups in the cloud? Oh no. How are we gonna get that cell phone? Can I bait it or capture it somehow? Well, or maybe you can. Well, first we're just gonna go and see the BB Bunny over here. Yes, BB Bunny! And yes, yes! Achievement unlocked! Why was this left outside? People need to stop leaving these things in random places. Yes, but at least I found them all now. Yes, the last BB Bunny! Nice looking cabin, but I don't think anyone's home. Yeah, finally, got it. So I too, I, I got all 12 of them. Um, I don't know where the heck I should go to grab stuff for. There's something inside this. It should work on a bird as well as a fish, right? No. Hell no, it's not gonna work. Here it goes. Oh, right. That was. Shoot, you were so close. Well, at least it still has a phone. I'm impressed with its grip, to be honest. I'll try to make it back to shore. But if it doesn't work, I'm all out of idea. Well. I think it landed on buoy or around here. I'm going to get a bed or get it. Why don't you meet me up at the dock? Well, don't you have any problems with just dumping that on top of the alarm post? Like, really? You don't care about that? Oh no, absolutely not. Stepping foot on, on into this boat would be trespassing. I'll just get to the owner to lend it to you. I got some grape. Good evening. Right back at ya. Look really happy. What's your secret? For us, it's all about having a shared hobby. Love biking together. Took off work to today to ride all around the city. It was wonderful. Okay. I'm to the pier to watch the sunset and enjoy the waterfront. So romantic. Wish we could do this every day. Definitely. If you want our secret, that's it. Being able to share passion for something goes a long way. And there is nothing quite like a good ri bike ride. Well, thanks for the advice. I think I'll leave you two alone now. No worries. Thanks for saying hi. Who is that? Oh, that's a ramen chef. How's your evening going? Great. I've come here to listen to the waves. Soothe the soul, you know. It's really rather to sing. Now that you mention it. Oh. Falcon is so cute. Let's wake up to leathering. I should really recycle this. Yeah, let, let's put that into... Oh, I can't go this way. Okay. I guess... Okay. I'm gonna wildly guess that we are gonna dump this in the, in the dumpster bin and the, the the hippie is gonna give you some something he's gonna give us something girls like our car okay drink the salt water really how do they print the bacteria in their skull supra or grooves they have exocrine glands which process much of the salt out of water okay I'm gonna skip that because it's gonna be Lots of lingo. History repeats itself. Okay. Really interested in whatever it's talking about. Oh, well, okay. There we go. One less spot to see, but not clogging the beach. Okay. No achievement for that? Okay. Um. Oh, there is more of that, but. Uh, hmm. I put it available for rental. It's job for anything else, though. When people are going out after dark, well, not without a license. I'm just calling to let you know that I'm here. <laughs> Sky game. Yes, Dave, I've traveled highways and byways. I walked up to the peak of mountains and down into foggy valleys. I've been over bridges and through caverns to get here. 
If I've climbed sharply faces and tracked across part desert, I've slugged through swamps and braved a bite of frozen tundras, at long last I have arrived. Thank you, Dave. You've been there for me every step of the way. Dave? Dave? Oh! <laughs> What's that achievement? Sorry, Dave. Okay. A renting kayak. Yeah, but this is, I'm not gonna rent it, them to you. Yum, yum, yum. Now discussing the different types of flora in that area. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going through here for now, at least. There's nothing less left here. Hmm. Uh, Him, because of him, seems kind of a zoom, okay. Put the telescope here or whatever this is, I bet this I could get a great view of the city in the distance. That is, I could if I had any quarter. I think I need a too old passion. Not that I expect a credit card reader. Yeah. Okay, so we are not going this way, so what do I have? A phone? Hey, birdie, birdie! Sure, have a way with the animal. I don't know. I haven't heard your brilliant plan. Never mind. You're right. Carry on. I just got nothing to do. Okay, but uh... um. Can we get for that? To be honest, I would expect the next item to get to be like around the northern part of the map because that's where we are right now. But I can't see anything. Some food. Some food, some food, some food. Should we go back to the, the bar and grab some food then? Right. Okay, it's a dog. Okay, no. Oh, borrow curry fries. Right, first off, they are chips, not fries. Okay, second, what do you mean burrow? I want to take your chips and use them to bait a seagull. Is that a euphemism for something? No, perfectly well, I never use euphemism. If I say I need to bait a seagull, I mean every word. I didn't buy these chips, I'll leave it up to... Oh, of course you can have them! What? No, Char, you aren't thinking straight. Listen, I'd order my fries or chips or whatever if I could, but... It's only a matter of time before that seagull drops Rindon's phone. Sorry, back up. Where's Rindon? Why does a seagull have his phone? Only a matter of time, Jody. Look, if I order you two a new batch of fries, can I have yours? Fine, but they are called chips. I was sure she was about to say that. Oh, we need to order now. Oh, yeah. Let's go back in this way and go up from. Can I get you curry chips? What kind of chips? What's your number? Okay, we are gonna get the number to the table. What's your stupid chip ordering? Thanks, sis. Here's the rest of ours. By the way, you know that fries and chips are the same things, right? No, they are not. Chips are like fries, but sick. Ha, ha, sick fries. <laughs> yeah, sick, with at least three C's. Anyway, sick. <laughs> Can have our chips. Good luck with... What were you doing again? Baiting a seagull to try and get my friend's phone from his beach? 
The seagull has a phone. Well, good luck with all that, Mara. Yeah, I guess. This luck is what we need, indeed. I'm like almost a hundred percent sure the, the seagull is actually gonna fly in the last area, like in the forest thingy. All right, here goes. Ah, why can't birds share? That's it. We're going to have to go out there. We're going to need a boat. Maybe we should talk to some locals. I guys saw a boat on the door. I'll go check it out. Stupid seagull. Share that bird. We're coming for you. And that guy, one boat owner. Excuse me, I was just wondering if I could live in the area. Why, is this a shakedown? Ha, I'm just kidding, my dude. I can tell you and your Earth Warriors partner and cops. Do I live here? I s like to think of myself as a transient. Okay, right, well, I should ask King around. Why would you happen to know the owner of the boat by the dock? In a way, I know him better than myself, but at the same time, he's a total stranger. Okay, right, bye. Okay, so no, we're not going to the wood. Or is it going to be like the last part of this map? Like, in, in the very last part, she's kind of like making a promise a promise with uh, Rindon there or something. Okay, so we have Rindon, but nobody else, right? Yeah, nobody here. Nobody here. Nobody here. Alrighty. Um, I would say let's try with those folks around here first. Okay, so no. Maybe... I'm gonna go quickly over those because, yeah, I don't want to read all that. No, sorry. Ramen Chef? Exactly, so I have seen someone wearing a waiter outfit come and wash it off every now and then. Perhaps someone at the bar will know? Okay, so one of the waiter, maybe? Sub doggies. <laughs> you want to order something else? Yeah, as for the owner. A bit of a long shot, but do you happen to know who owns that boat out on the pier? Is that little dinghy out there? Ha! As a matter of fact, I do. It's him. And you've got a spot of luck. You might find the owner playing guitar somewhere near this. Damn it! Bring too much attention to him, alright? I think he fancies himself a man who doesn't need possession. I don't want people knowing he has a boat. I was sure about that. Ah. Alright, I'm gonna run slightly, very slightly, because it's the end of the game and basically uh, they are only doing this in this last part, but. Yeah, that's kind of tedious to have to go all the way up and down, up and down, up and down like that. Excuse me, I was just wondering if you live in there. Yeah. yeah, okay. So the jig is up then. You know my dirty little secret? Yes, my friend and I were wondering if we could borrow your boat. Let's see, why not? Well, it's good to see people looking for fun activities instead of chasing material things. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Chasing material things. There you go. Now yeah, you're just giving it to her like that. Thank you so much. No problem. What's the boat in the great scheme of life anyway? Hope you find what you're looking for. So, anything else I can do for you? That's telescope. I've never tried using that telescope. Bet you could get a pretty great view of the downtown through that. Whoa, look at you. I'm happy to see more people taking the time to appreciate a good view. And yeah, that thing is a tower viewer. Old fashioned, yes, but for a small price, definitely worth it. 
So, anything else I can do for you? Sorry if this sounds a bit strange, but I would not normally ask this, but would you by any chance be willing to lend me a few spares quarters to use this telescope uh, tower viewer? Haha! <laughs> Looking to share a special moment with someone? Oh! Oh, that's not well. No worries, listen, you don't have to admit it to me, but I might suggest you admit it to yourself. It is obviously, if that's how you really feel. Anyway, I'd be happy to help, of course. The best way to take in the view is out on the water. But up here is a close second. Ah, uh, thanks. I need some change. I only ask one simple flavor. Earlier today, your friend joined the crusade and became an Earth warrior. I want you to join the coast too. Like, by dumping this bottle inside of the trash can that I did before, I've become an Earth warrior. Ah, but that's for you to discover. Yeah, I'll have recycled plastic bottles that would have otherwise ended up in the landfill. You can find something similar to do. Actually, I think I might have found something earlier. Was this plastic bottle water, bottle, water bottle sitting out of the sand near the waterfront? Dug it out and throw it in the recycling. Yes, my dude, that way to go! Such a bummer that people leave plastic trash out in nature like they don't even care. You know, there is a scary amount of plastic floating out in the sea. Now nearly eight. Okay, okay, okay. So it all it doesn't actually decompose. Yes, it, it goes into nanoplastics, I know. So it's up to us. Okay. Glad to see you have officially joined the Earth Warriors. You know, it's funny. You seem to take after your friend when it comes to plastic bottle to make a great team. Oh, ah, thanks. Hey, I think you've more than proven yourself. Why don't you take this change as a gift? I trust you'll use it wisely. Thanks. Don't forget, being an Oswayo isn't a one-time job. It really requires real commitment and dedication. Okay. I kind of wonder now. Should I actually... Uh, use the thing right now or wait and see it with Rindon but if we are taking the boat out I'm like are we gonna be able to use that actually like mm. I think he did mention it was second so I guess I'll use it now and yeah. This quarter I can use to the war. I should probably tell Rindon first, so Okay, okay. Okay. We should convince Rindon. I actually yes, that's a that's a good idea. Convince Rindon to come up here and get a view with her. That's the way we should go. What's this? Found some changes? Well, I did have to work for it a little bit. Your erstwhile your friend gave it to me in exchange for recycling the plastic bottle. What, really? I think they really are. There's some kind of a weird fate thing going on today, since, you know, the same thing happened to me this morning. But why do you need the change anyway? It's nothing really, but there is a viewing platform up there with a tower viewer. Tower viewer? Yeah, you know, like those. Like one of those telescopes that you put a quarter into, but then you get to look at the scenic view. I know it's a bit corny. No, I don't think it is. That sounds fun. I'm a little bit concerned about my phone, though. Yeah, I know, but the seagull doesn't seem like it wants to move. I think we should spare minutes. Well, ah, uh, why not? This has been such a weird day. I'm kind of open to anything. Just hope my phone survives. When you're ready, I'll meet you up there. Well, l l let's go then. Mm -hmm. Should I go like right now? Let's try that. I hope this is But where's Rindon? Coming! So we want all this trouble all this trouble just so we could use this old thing. That's really awesome. Let's hope it works. 
There we go, now let's see. Hmm, I'm just seeing black. Wait, I seem to, to adjust it a little. Perfect. Whoa, I always thought these things were kind of gimmicky, but this does give a great view. Actually, yes, yeah, those kind of things sometimes gives a great view. I'd love to give it a try, Rindy. Sure thing. Can we control it? Oh, you're not kidding. I can see so much from here. Oh, Mara, this has been a lot of fun. I'm glad we're able to enjoy ourselves right now, regardless of what happened earlier. Actually, me too. And here I saw this view well, it's just a gimmicky tourist trap. Kind of is, but I love it. This looks like our time is up. Well, thanks for that. You know, you too could get an even better view out on the water since, you know, you have the key to my boat. I forgot you were here. Thanks again for the boat. Quite a character, you know that? Uh, thanks? But really, thanks for helping me this morning with my change problem. Likewise, I suppose. Whenever there are Earth Warriors in need of spirit chains, I'll be here to serve my fellow man or woman. Yes, you could say some things never change. That's painful, you know that. I do, but regarding more serious matters, I do actually need to get on a boat to steal my flip phone back from the mouth of a seagull. So I'll meet you back down there. I just work colleagues there. Eh? It's complicated. I'm sure, I'm sure. Well, help him take care of ours for me, will ya? Wait, what? Is he like the previous owner of ours or something? Who are you again? Well, I'm nobody, just a vagrant of the wind. Hurry up, you have, hurry up now, you have a phone to save. Right, thanks again. Yeah, I'm pretty much sure she's, she's like the director or CEO or whatever of a... Uh, Arus or something. He did mention earlier he was a uh, materialistic, but went away from it or something. I'm far to reach. I'll wait until I'm in the boat. Okay. Not yet. Key. Okay. Really? Who was the owner? You know that smelly guy sitting on the pier? Turns out it's his boat. No kidding. I never would have guessed that. Now we, that we have the key, let's. Get your phone. Aye, aye, Captain. This is so exciting. You got that key, right? Let's get this puppy started. Wait, the key isn't doing anything. What? Are you doing it the right way? Of course I'm turning it the right way. But must have a bad alternative. I could get the current, a current to the engine. I could bat bypass it. And uh, dang it, just when I thought we found a solution. Don't give up hope yet. I just need to find a way to power the boat. Let me think. You're singing? Not a volt, of course, but this is a voltage going to be too much. Up till the engine blows up. Well, then you will need much more than a new suit. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Wow, it didn't explode! Take a seat, I'll drive. To be honest, I didn't think the thing in her pocket was a nanovolt thing. I was just thinking it was a weird looking phone. Because let's be honest, who still uses flip phones today? Anyway. We made it! Whoa, good sinking, Mara! The nanovolt really is something! Well, it's working. Yeah, it's working alright. It was nothing. Anyway, we still have to get your phone back. Yeah, let's, let's try again. Be careful, I'll try. Yes! This is surreal, I can't believe this all worked. Neither can I. 
It dropped on the floor. Oh yeah, it's broken. What? It's cracked and it won't turn on. I suppose it's only a matter of time before it would fracture. I'm truly sorry, Rindon. All this effort for nothing. I mean, I wouldn't say it was for nothing. Yes, at least you can repair it or something. You know, it's a, it's a phone, it's repair repairable. Yes, I guess. True, I'm going to have to buy a new phone. And I'm going to have to put all my contact manually because my phone was too old to have any sort of cloud storage. My point exactly about the flip phone thing. That's going to be a huge pain. The coolest thing is that I got to see Nano World in action. The way it was meant to be seen is really some revolutionary tech. I think there is a lot of more potential there here than meets the eyes. I'm definitely going to talk to the board of directors again. Also, everyone knows that startups are more about the people than the products. And more importantly, I got to see you in action and uh, you were really cool. Thank you, Rindon. I. What the heck? So, does the phone work? Yeah, your audience demands to know. Wait, are you guys together? Looks like you got a lot more out of that date tonight than you thought. Whoa, boss, way to finally achieve that work life balance. Mara, is that your boyfriend? You've never even introduced me. You guys are adorable together. I'm so happy for you guys. And all those kind of remarks are like, yeah, it's a bit silly if you read them all dark, like right one after another. Who are they again? This is this is the most I've literally never been so touched in my life. Oh I'm gonna cheer up. I'm gonna Okay, okay. Vigorous sobbing. I want to go somewhere more quiet. I'd love to, but shouldn't we return the boat first? Let's see why we couldn't do a little bit more joy riding. I love how he's sitting on the on the edge of the boat and not like on the uh, on the benches on the back, which would be yeah a bit safer. Well, that 3D really effect for a 2D pixel game is really something. I guess that's why, yeah, since the very beginning I was thinking, yeah, it's a 3D game. Well, we could see it a lot of time, but this one was a, quite a good shot, like a, a good pan to make, particularly for, I guess, the end of the game. Wow, look at that view! Yeah, I'd say I swear your friend was right. This is definitely better than the telescope. I couldn't dream of a better spot to see the city. What an incredible skyline. Oh, with lots of lights. Oh, shut off. Okay. No, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be the party pooper here. Could you have imagined when we bumped into each other this morning that you would, would end up there together? That was just this morning? It feels like a lifetime ago. Well, if you play this game, yeah, it felt a bit m more than just that, yes. That is funny in that way, isn't it? When you least expect it, someone who's amazing just bumps into you. And next thing you know, you are out in the open water that night in a stolen boat. Borrowed boat. The only thing I was thinking of this morning was work. I wouldn't have expected this. Yeah, me too. Well, it's getting late. We should probably head back soon. It's only for half past eight. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's later than... Wow, wow. Th that kiss. On second set, maybe we can stay out a little bit longer. Well, that was nice. Really, it was it was a nice game. I don't think... Uh, let me see. A 
I'm checking on a different screen, but I think... Yeah, I'm missing a few achievements here and there, but... I'm not really sure I'm gonna play it again. Well, or maybe I'll just play it again just for achievement six, but it's, it's gonna be way faster. Maybe, yes, tomorrow I'm gonna play a bit of it to unlock the achievements that I'm missing. Well, but then I'll probably be using some kind of walkthrough or something because I'm not gonna play the game all over again, particularly if I'm reading everything. Um, oh, so yeah, they reintroduce all character. Oh, actually, okay, even Samuel, who I was thinking was just a random character, is actually one of the people from the team. Okay. Well, yeah, that, that was a real nice game. Like, I really like the storytelling task, like so the way it told the story, and uh, plus uh, the... How do I say it? The way it was... Uh, damn it, I'm losing my words here. Architected? Like the way it unfolded uh, with uh, going back and forth on time. About, well, in time, like with all those three couples, well, all those three, I would say timelines, but it didn't, obviously they are just all together on the same timeline, but they are way, like, those three stories, those three different stories, how they, they were so different at first, but kind of merged together at some point. And uh, yes, the fact that they were, in fact, there is just one thing I kind of regret. It was like, they were, lots of clues about what was gonna happen and what was going on and I wish they had a bit less clues here and there because it made it very easy to see what would happen at the end but it was nice nonetheless like really oh but some of them some of them don't have any pixel art apparently or maybe that's because oh narrative consulting yeah maybe consultants don't have any sprites or something and legal laser well too bad but okay oh only three testers that's real tight I'm kinda kinda I don't want to trash talk is this game because uh, I cannot no I I know not kind of, I really like it, liked it, and uh, but I kind of wonder if the fact that they only got three testers explain why there were so many uh, mistakes uh, in English here and there. Like not that much, but kind of very, very obvious mistakes sometimes. Maya proposed only a couple weeks after she started dating, and Milo immediately accepted. Okay, that's fine. Two years later, after their real first date, Baya finally moved in with Milo at the house where after Lars moved out due to work promotion. From time to time, Jody would still complain about Milo's boxes in the attic. That's... yeah, okay. That's a bit weird, but to have all those couples together, but yeah, fine. If they can get along, fine. Good for them. This is the epilogue or something? As they spent time together, Anna discovered a newfound talent and started outmatching Jaren at his favorite game. Oh, the, the image they have is a crane game. Yeah, it's... Oh, okay. It says they never mention anything about it, but okay, okay. And it's... Is, is it another BB Bunny again? But anyway, Jaren developed a new interest in not only tea, but also books, music, and even business. With Oscar's help, Jaren started his own Japanese-styled arcade in Little Tokyo. Wow. Wow, that's... That's really something now. Not something that... It's easy to make work, to be honest. But okay. Four years later, ja Jaren and Anna still fight over who gets to be player one every time they pick up a new game at Gamerforge. Alright. 
So, within seconds of getting back to the pier, Rind and asked Mara out on a date. He suggested they meet up on Saturday at 8.30 a.m. at Fernu Cafe. They would end up seeing each other pretty much every day after that. Business partners? Rinan soon left Aurus to help pitch Nanoble to various investors. Oh, no, how nice of him. On the country, Mara and Rindon would celebrate each successful investment with green tea at Fanny Cafe. Alright, but aren't they like in a plane now? Oh, okay. And what about. Oh, the end. And that's it, that's how it, is how it ends. Okay. Brian. Brian? Alright. Um, if I go to chapter select. Wait, I don't have chapter 12? Why? Actually, now that I think about it, we didn't manage to get back into the forest area. And I wonder if I, if there is some kind of thing that we need to do in order to unlock chapter 12 that I didn't do? That's really strange now. But okay. All right, um, well, I'm gonna switch to the other one. Uh, don't think, oh, 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 oh. Okay, so that's better. Uh, wait, let me shut down the game here. All right, so that was pretty much the last session of it. Yeah, I was kind of expecting it, as I said earlier, and uh, well, well, actually, that's kind of how it unfolded. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. What can I say next? Uh, well, that was. Uh, let me wait. Let me check something first. Do, 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 do. Yes, okay, so my OBS is kind of bugged or something. Um, yes, it's kind of... Um, it's kind of weird that I don't have access to the chapter 12 now. I, I guess I'm gonna read it out, read a bit out on it to see if there is something that I missed. Um, if I did miss something, I guess I'll just uh, continue on tomorrow because I was thinking of actually playing twice uh, Half Past Fate. And uh, yes, I guess tomorrow, if I see something else that I missed that I should do, I'll probably just resume playing from that point on and try to unlock uh, things if there are more content to be unlocked. Um, Apart from that, I'm also tempted because I read about it like, uh, was it this week? Yeah, some sometime this week, that uh, the game actually got uh, a spin-off, which is called Half Past Fate, Distant Romancing or Romancing... Oh, wait, 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 let me recheck it. Past Fate, Romantic Distancing, which is actually uh, about... Well, it's the same game, obviously. Well, not as the same game, but as the same kind of plot. Except it's about some kind of pandemic. Yeah, something you might know about. Uh -huh. um, and it plays... It seems to play... The, it seems to be the kind of same setting and same kind of game, but except it's in a more, let's say, recent event caveats or something. And I... I'm kind of tempted to just buy it and play it like tomorrow if I don't have anything else or if I just finish uh, the things that I want to finish uh, quickly or something like that. So I guess it's going to be something around uh, around that. Yeah, uh, I'm going to I'm still going to play something about it. If it's uh, if tomorrow's session 
if I get resume to resume this session of half past eight normal, um, and it's uh, like lasting more than I don't know one hour, two hours, I'll probably not switch to the next one because it's gonna be a bit too long, I guess, and probably will switch to something more. Um, how do I say it? Something chilly. Uh, something to chill on and just talk or something like that but otherwise yeah if there is not much I can do about this uh, first game yeah obviously I'll be probably playing directly the spin-off of uh, Half Past Fate and um, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah I guess that's pretty much it uh, uh, let me see if there is someone I can raid tonight um up there isn't anyone right now ah damn it that's too bad oh well um yeah so as i mentioned tomorrow's streaming same time uh 2100 uh french time are we wait aren't we changing time this is it tonight no it's tomorrow oh yes that's tonight i guess uh, I don't know about my friends out in America how it's gonna be, so uh, I'm gonna check it out once again. Maybe I messed up and my schedule will be all over the place tomorrow. Um, oh, thanks, Mia, for confirming. So, yes, okay, so it's tonight for us, but I, I think in America there is something also as well on daylight savings and stuff, and uh, that might be tonight as well. I'm gonna check it out and see if, if it's the same day. If it's the same day, yes, that's fine, because we are all gonna move uh, at the same time. Otherwise, yeah, I'll just post a bit of a correction on my streaming uh, hours tomorrow for the uh, PDT part, well, the Pacific Time part. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, I well, I hope to see you all tomorrow then uh, for that uh, probably a very last uh, thing. Well, very last session and very small session, I hope, of uh, Half Past Fate. And hopefully we'll just switch over to the spin-off and see if it's as good as this one. I really, it really got my hopes quite high now. Uh, my expectation, I mean, uh, quite high now that uh, this one was uh, this good, to be honest. And, uh, well, yeah, yeah, that's... I guess that's pretty much it. So, I'm gonna wrap it up here and, uh, well, gonna wish you a pleasant evening, a pleasant afternoon, or end of afternoon, I guess, um, or a good day, wherever you are. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow then. Bonne soirée, bonne nuit.